So, this is a writing video blog for dead people, but I'd like to uh, devote my first episode to people who are alive, just in case any live people decide to watch it. Uh, live people are more important than dead people, after all. So, uh, just in case you aren't dead, and that would be really weird, but cool, uh, welcome. Also, welcome dead people. So, let's see, someday uh, you're probably going to die. When that happens, you don't go straight to heaven or hell or get reincarnated or whatever. Uh, no, that would be too simple. The universe doesn't work that way. As we all know, the universe is fundamentally a strange place. Instead, you'll wake up with a huge headache on a train in a cattle car. You'll be wearing old-fashioned clothes, have a pocket watch, a cigar case, a few dollars, a really heavy revolver, a can of beans, a creepy lace handkerchief with some embroidered cherubs on it, stuff like that. Finally, the train will stop. The last stop. Someone will come by. The conductor, immaculately dressed. He will say, Get off of my train. And he'll throw you out. Maybe kick you a few times if he doesn't like your face. After the train goes off into the distance, you won't be able to find its tracks. You'll wander around the desert for a few days, eating cactuses, getting sunburnt, getting covered by ants. And I mean covered by ants. Like, if you think you've been covered by something before, you are in for a big surprise. Eventually, you'll find some wagon tracks, and they'll lead you to a little town of some sort. And you'll go to the saloon and sit at the bar, and there will be a wise old guy there. He'll say, Oh yeah, so you're new here. You're probably wondering what's going on, huh? Well, this is the desert. And at the end of the desert are the mountains. And the only way through the mountains is a pass guarded by a wolf. And the only way the wolf lets you up to the pass is if you tell him a story. It has to be your story. It has to be true. It has to be about you. Ask me about what the meaning of you is, got it? You know, like why you did what you did in life, and who you are, and who all of humankind is, that kind of thing. Wolf says that nothing without meaning is allowed into the mountains, because meaningless things shouldn't exist. And the old wise guy will sit back in his chair and maybe order a plate of macaroni and cheese with kale and prosciutto and raw oysters and figs. And they'll say, Oh, I know you don't believe me. Yeah, you'll find out. You see, this here desert, it's long and wide. I've heard the desert is about as wide as the distance from Mars to Earth. It takes 157 years to cross if you ride on horseback all night and all day. So there ain't no hurry, kid. Yeah, there's a lot of strange stories about this desert, sure. You might not believe me right away. You'll wander around for years, meet strange people, see some strange rocks, get stuck in a hole for a while. Someday you'll meet some people hung from a tree. That's the lawman. The lawman's a man who wanders the desert here. You better watch out for him. The lawman has a list, see? He finds people at the top of the list and he hangs them. There's only one way to die down here in this desert, and that's the lawman. And nobody knows what happens when you get hung by him. And you'll realize when you see those bodies hung up on that tree that you don't really have forever to wander around here. Hundreds, maybe thousands of years from now, you'll see them mountains for the first time. They're big. You'll head towards them and finally meet the wolf. You'll try to explain yourself to him, but he'll just shake his head. So you'll wander back. You'll get a typewriter. You'll work for years in your tail. You'll bring your manuscript to the wolf. He'll just shake his head. So you work for 20 years on a new manuscript. It'll be perfect. You'll be happy to read it. It'll have some really nice illustrations and a map on the first page. But the wolf, he'll just shake his head. Hell, you'll give up. You'll wander the desert, drinking half a bottle of whiskey a day, shooting people in anger, holding up stagecoaches. 
you'll start to see some really strange things. If you want my advice, don't bother with them. Maybe you'll go to a fancy house. Inside, there'll be a party. Everyone's standing in front of a painting, drinking wine. But soon, you'll notice that they have two faces. One looking forward, the other looking back at that painting. And there's one painting without anyone nearby. Don't go stand at the painting and join the party. Sure, you'll learn the secrets of the desert that way, but... Those secrets will just distract you from the story you have to give the wolf. And plus, they say that the lawman puts those who have too much knowledge at the top of his list. Someday something will happen. Maybe you'll see the lawman. Maybe you'll get stuck in a giant bottle of tequila. Or get buried alive for a few years. And you'll go back to writing. You'll go to the local library and log in to the internet and watch every YouTube video ever made. You'll read all of Wikipedia. You'll read all of 4chan and every Facebook post and every Facebook message ever written. You'll just sit and think, watching the sunset for longer than you were even alive on Earth. And finally, you'll write, and you'll write a book, and then a series of books. They'll deviate from reality in strange ways. They'll be full of poetry and descriptions of smells that go on for pages. The story will be damned good to read. You'll want to read it again and again. The book will be better than anything anybody has written on Earth. It'll be so good that you can't stop reading it, even though reading it takes a month. And finally, you'll go to the wolf, and he will let you pass, after making a few notes. Then the wise old guy will take one last gulp of his 17th mimosa, and lose consciousness, and you'll go out into the desert, and think about what he said, and begin your second life. I know it sounds implausible, but it's actually very absolutely true. You are going to be required to explain yourself at some point. So you better be prepared, and that is what I will try to help you to do. Alright, so... The people in this YouTube group compiled some questions for me to answer, so I'm going to do that. Uh, one, who is your favorite protagonist in a book? I think it would be Sir Samuel Vimes from Feet of Clay by Terry Pratchett. He's a grumpy and effective person. Very likable. What is your favorite book series slash author? Probably The Face in the Frost by Belairs, which is such a good book that if you see it in a store, don't buy it, because it's, it's just so good that you might not be able to handle it. Uh, physical copy versus ebook, which is better? I prefer physical books, but I read ebooks more, so I can't really answer that. Yeah. Four, pen and paper versus computer, definitely computer. Uh, five, what genre do you write in? Uh, mostly Lovecraftian. Six, what are your thoughts about the Oxford comma? I like them, but I don't actually use them. Seven, do you write the period inside or outside the parenthesis at the end of a sentence? I write it outside. Uh, eight, are you kind of a dog person? Definitely a cat. What is your greatest fear? Death. Uh, what is your zodiac sign? I'm a goat. What is your Myers-Briggs personality? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely introverted. Who would win in a fight with a werewolf and a vampire? Uh, werewolves don't exist, so vampires would win. Uh, 13, is free, will, bleh, is free will real? Yeah, it is. Uh, 14, do you like to write with music or silence? Silence. Silence. The end. <laughs>